we have basically three boolean operators uh, not and or but for the precedence issue we have a uh, uh, symbol parenthesis uh, which is not actually operator but it controls uh, the precedence of uh, operators basically the order of evaluation the precedence order is a uh, parenthesis first and the not and the or and the or that's the order so given expression <clears throat> the parenthesis is evaluated first so this part is evaluated first and second this part is evaluated uh, when uh, in this part uh, not operator takes precedence uh, over or so not d is evaluated first <clears throat> Here we do some uh, proof uh, of the equation. So this equation A or A and B is the same as A is called the absorption theorem. We can prove uh, this theorem by using the identities or theorems that we have discussed earlier as a basic structure of a Boolean algebra. So beginning with the, the original expression, we can move to next step by applying that a variable is the same as a variable and the one so this one is expanded here so first step using that identity and then we apply distributive law from here to here so we get this uh, and then next step we have identity saying that one or any variable is the same as one and then next step, uh, similarly, one and uh, variable is uh, the variable itself. So using that identity, we have uh, proved that uh, A or A and B is the same as A is proved. Another example is uh, uh, this equation is called the consensus theorem. So how do we pro uh, prove it as uh, follows? Uh, beginning with the left-hand side, uh, we move to next step where one and the variable is same as a variable so this part the bc is expanded uh, using that identity and then from here uh, we change one by another identity variable or not of the variable the same as one so that is a uh, given here the from here to next step is a uh, distribution so bc and and so and operator operator is dist distributed over all operators so we get this result by applying distributive law and then from here to here we change the order so not a c and a b c those places are swapped which is a commutative law and then from next step we expand a b as a b and the one by using uh, the property variable and the one is a variable and also we use a commutative uh, law which is uh, from here to here see that uh, the order of a variable b and c are swapped so it's a, it's a commutative law and from there to next step is using distributive law we group this way or in that way then we have a property a variable or one is one and then finally variable and the one is a variable self uh, using that we have approved uh, the consensus uh, theorem another example of a proof is uh, uh, here uh, given equation so left hand side first we apply the Morgan's law to get this uh, so here x or y and the not of the over it as the, applying the Morgan's law we do this way and using commutative law we change the x and y and then x and y again commutative law is applied twice <clears throat> and using distributive law we get this result so why not is a factored out using distributive law and then here within the parenthesis we apply distributive law again so or is distributed over and operation here 
we get this result and then identity property uh, variable and the variable the complement is a uh, one so we have uh, the result uh, on the right hand side uh, we proved that here we have uh, many useful theorems uh, uh, we have a pair of expressions the first one is this one and the another one is there actually that's a derived using dual relationship uh, you know the dual is uh, by replacing two operators uh, interchanging those two operators and an or and the re uh, re interchanging uh, constant 0 and 1 so given expression another one is a dual so this is and then a given expression another is dual so given expression we get another as a dual given expression we have another one as a dual the here given expression you have another one as a dual so we have names of those uh, we have approved uh, some of those in all their slides uh. here uh, another proof is that uh, we have uh, this expression and another one is a dual uh, the dual you don't have to prove both of them if we prove one then uh, the dual is automatically proved so out of this one we prove uh, it's true then we can also say the dual is uh, true the Morgan's law you can prove uh, easily by constructing truth table for left hand side and another truth table for right hand side and then show that two truth tables are identical then you can prove it another way to prove algebraically is as follows from the boolean algebra we know that if uh, one variable or not of the variable is one and uh, a variable and the complement of its a variable is zero then we know that uh, the first part and the same as a not of the second part so let's put x or y as a and x not y not as a not then show that a or a not a or a not is one and a and a not is zero then we prove that a not which is a left hand side of this equation a not is equal to a not so this is how we prove the, the Morgan's law algebraically again as I told you we can prove easily by constructing truth table for each side this is also automatically proved because this is a dual form of uh, is the Morgan's law given a boolean function you can see when the function becomes one if we construct a truth table so as to function one a given variable x y and z and all possible input combinations uh, we can tell that function one becomes one only when x is one y is one and y uh, z is zero as to the function two similarly we can construct truth table but this slide shows a combined truth table because x and x z y and z are shared uh, among those four functions so we can see that function two becomes a one this case and those cases similarly function three and function four have uh, those uh, properties uh, so this is uh, how we evaluate the boolean functions uh, as you can see that uh, from the truth table uh, function 1, 2, 3, and 4, they are different from each other. We don't have any identical functions. We can apply Boolean algebra to simplify the equation um, using those Boolean algebra properties, uh, identities, and laws. Uh, given expression, we have uh, many variables uh, there. But if we apply Boolean algebra properties and laws uh, uh, going through the steps, uh, we can show that this expression is equivalent to original, more complicated forms. Uh, so by 
simplifying that we can achieve uh, uh, another goal called the hardware optimization which we will talk in detail in later chapters and to complement the function is the same as applying the de morgan's law so for example this is given function f uh, then complement of f is uh, complementing the whole expression and then uh, we should apply the Morgan's law. The Morgan's law is uh, the not over a group is distributed uh, individual member while at the same time we need to interchange the operator. So first step of uh, uh, applying the Morgan's law is uh, this one not and another one not and we replace this operator to end and within each we apply recursively the de Morgan's law so the Morgan's law of this one is uh, we apply not operator individually so x not and not becomes x and the end operator is changed to or y becomes y not and z not becomes z not not z itself since we replace this or operator by end so end is here similarly for this group we apply the Morgan's law then x naught or y or z is what we achieve uh, as a complement of a function another example is a complement of a g is uh, applying not operator over the entire expression then the Morgan's law says that we can apply not operator in individual members uh, in the group while we interchanging the operator so this operator becomes end but we apply not for this group and the not for this group we have only one member so here we need to apply not for the entire group again we need to apply not an individual member recursively while changing the operators from end to or, or to end so here we have not of this part and not of that part by replacing operators so if we keep doing so recursively we will get the final expression which is a complement of a function g